Okay, this is a quick little video on how I have my dual battery set up in my 2001 Mobius V. Uh, as you can see, the rear cover is different than the standard one piece. I converted it to a three piece. The walls I built out of expanded PVC, little uh, hydro turf on there for cushion. Basically just held on with three bolts. One, two, three. Ballast lines hidden everywhere. It was carpeted. Now it's hydro turf. Right there, there's an opening with the battery normally drops in that runs over to your motor. I used this same expanded PVC, filled that in and hydro turfed over the top of it on both sides after I ripped the carpet out. I just went up to the edge. I might continue further later. But anyway, to the nitty gritty. So you can see, maybe, there's your ground line goes to the engine block and tucked back in there your positive line goes to the starter pretty basic you can see the two positive and negative cables just route forward i came down the side of the bilge tucked up into this side rear seat compartment pull that off going upside down here you can see i just ran the cables Inside edge of the compartment, down along beside the cooler, that is a machete for cutting brush or close encounters of the wrong kind. Take your pick. So basically it's just running down the edge of the compartment here underneath, and then it pokes back out into the basement locker. You can see right there, and I have it wire tied up so it won't drop down into the ballast area. And basically just runs forward and tucks up underneath. Those are the wires for my zone controller coming from my head over to the unit and back to my amps. I'll show you those in a second. So basically tucks up underneath uh, passenger side compartment where the batteries now live. I'm going there. So there's my two batteries. They're both group 29. Uh, marine, whatever they are, they're not really a, a full-blown deep cycle. They're like a marine starting battery. I just have them anchored to the floor with straps so they're not going to slide around. So the negative goes up and splits off and goes to both batteries. The positive lines off the batteries simply run up to the switch. I didn't separate. Some guys run marine or engine on one and stereo on the other. I have it all wired together. So these are two gauge wires coming from each battery positive up to the switch and a i believe it's a two watt two watt gauge a little thicker gauge running back down underneath and through the compartment all the way back to the motor to the starter mm -hmm. the other thing i've got going on here is this is the power line for my stereo i believe that's a double watt cable going up to a 200 amp breaker and then it kind of tucks around and hides behind the wall here. Goes to a distribution. Goes to a distribution block that powers all three of my amps. You can kind of see maybe a little extra wire sticking out back there. So in a nutshell, I mean, I usually leave them off. I have a couple of cheesy little Harbor Freight trickle chargers hooked to it to keep them uh, you know, from slowly draining, sitting over the winter or sitting for a few weeks during summer, we're not using them. You can run one, both, or just two. I usually I'll just leave it on both all the time. We don't sit in the cove and jam out to music like for five hours at a time. You know, maybe an hour here, hour there. Never had trouble with the boat starting up again. I always carry jumper cables just in case though. So, pretty simple on the stereo. On, or on the power. <laughs> On the stereo so my head unit is tucked away in here you know the typical spot and there is a single rca that runs over to the zone controller and that's what that big bundle of wires is down there you want to keep it away from the power on the ground because it's carrying a signal runs all the way over and comes up through the helm into the bottom of the zone controller so it's one line in over here and three lines out going back to the amps so that way you can control your 
cabin, highs, lows, tower, everything, subwoofer, independent volume controls for each one, which is pretty sweet. Uh, what else? Oh, the remotes for the stereo. That used to be just like a generic, you know, checklist for starting the boat, whatever. I mounted one of my remotes there. I used to have it over here until I put a ballast system in and I wanted to make the stereo more visible without looking off to the side because they're fiddling with that more than the ballast. So remounted my ballast switches over there. Took a big hole saw and cut into my dash since it almost looks like a factory install. This works. I have a second remote off the transom of the boat. Exact same thing. You know, so you can use one, the other, both. You can use a head unit, you can use your phone to control it, whatever you want. Uh, what else can I show you? 